My name is Amy Matusik, and I'm a teacher at Counterpane Montessori School in Fayetteville, Georgia. I've worked at Counterpane Montessori School for 20 years now, and it's been my experience that it's a great learning environment for students of all ages. The students have a prepared environment where they're given lessons, and they're given lessons at the pace that are comfortable for them to be challenged, but given the opportunity to master a concept of a particular subject before they're asked to move ahead. So it's all about meeting the individual needs of each student instead of asking the student to meet the needs of a specific curriculum. So Maria Montessori, when she designed the materials, kept in mind that all children, uh, specifically we'll speak about ages 6 through 12 in the classroom, that all children advance in different areas of their life at different rates of proficiency in those things. So, whereas one student um, working with materials might lead easily into fine motor skills, taking, taking that work and presenting it on paper, for another student who will find it difficult to have process on paper, they're given the opportunity to use the materials exclusively to do their work. So they're not being delayed in any way by their physical growth as long as their intellect can move forward. Part of the Montessori classroom also involves the education of the whole child. So we focus on grace and courtesy uh, for all levels of development, whether that might be uh, the way you cooperatively work with another student, um, your, be your behavior and movement through the classroom, you move through the classroom with respect to yourself, others, and, and the Montessori materials. Your workspaces are defined and the materials are protected and your workplace is protected from others interrupting you by your defining your workplace at a table or at a work mat on the floor. Um, one of the greatest things that I see come about in the Montessori community is that it is a safe learning environment for all children and that the children understand that every child in that classroom will get whatever it is they need, whether it's academic safety, intellectual safety, emotional safety, or physical safety. Every child gets whatever it is they need and sometimes your academic progression relies on you feeling physically safe or emotionally safe. So it's important that we can define what a child needs to move forward with their uh, whole child. And academics isn't always a limiting factor. It's if the whole child's not in sync and functioning as a whole, it can impede their moving forward academically.